welcome back to the channel and in today's video I want to share with you the four things, not two, not three, four things that I did that helped me earn over a million dollars before the age of 21. I want to share with you the journey, how I did it, perhaps you'll learn a couple of things along the way. Let's get into it. Firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com and we help entrepreneurs to launch, grow and scale their businesses on the internet. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I put out a couple new videos like this every single week. Now, what I want to do in today's video is just take you on a bit of a journey, right? Because um, this is a question that comes up a lot. We've now scaled a business almost to the $10 million mark and, and a question we get from our clients that we are helping to get to their first million is what was that journey like for you? Now, it's gonna be slightly different to perhaps what your journey would be now because the internet has changed. The whole world of marketing and advertising and business has changed in the past 10 years or so. Um, but I wanna just share with you the four things that I've got on my mind that I think contributed to the first million dollars that I earned online and what has enabled me to scale this into an operation now where we have you know 15 employees we've got you know a huge 3,000 square foot office how do we get to here well it all started at the beginning so let me start sharing that with you so the first thing that contributed to the to the first million that that, that i earned was um truthfully just the internet and, and that has uh, feels like quite a big open statement so let me let me set some context and a bit of a foundation for what i'm saying there when I first started to create uh, businesses or when I uh, even going right back to school and you know, I'm leaving school, I knew I felt entrepreneurial and um, I don't know, I just had this fire lit underneath me that you know, I wanted to create something and I wanted to create something you know, of my own. And so leaving school, I, I started to explore different business models. I remember going online and um, you know, borrowing so much money from my parents to then go and buy online courses, and training on, on how to do different things. I, I went to a few seminars with my dad, believe it or not, because I wasn't old enough to go by myself. <laughs> and so he would have to come and if I wanted to sign up for something, and you know, we, we kind of positioned it like a, a bit of a partnership, you know. Um, and I tried a few different business models, if you want to call it that, that didn't work so well. Funnily enough, me and Pete were going through um, some of the old stuff that we've uh, collected, or rather I've collected over the years of, of businesses that I started. I found these little pamphlets. In fact, let me go grab one. So this was, um, I've got a whole box of these <laughs> and it's just this, it's this folder, right? I got it from Vistaprint that have been around for uh, forever. I called my little business JP Marketing and my, my tagline was incredibly creative. It was, my job is your reward. Um, I can't remember what this business was all about. I put a computer on the front, um, so it must have been something to do with, um, I actually don't, I can't even remember what this was. Um, I think it was me wanting to go around to local businesses and get them more business. I'm sure it was something to do with that, uh, but I don't know why I've put a computer on the front. But there's lots of businesses like that that I started, and then I realized, you know, being 16, 17 years old, I wasn't really, really being taken very serious as I'm walking around to businesses with my dad's suit on that's going over my fingertips, and I'm walking in seeing if they want me to help them grow their business. That wasn't seeming to work. Um, I tried something else where I was going around and finding um, for sale signs in my local area and I thought what if I put together a, a welcome pack, a welcome to the area, right? So I could go to other local businesses and say, this was a slightly different idea to that one, um, you know, and, and arrange discounts and whatnot and I can put it all in this welcome pack. When I see that for sale sign disappear, I know there's new people in the building so then I can post this welcome pack and I'd get a kickback if anyone signed up for anything and again, that didn't really materialize. There were lots of things like this that I, that I tried and that didn't work and, and failed um, and this circles back to the internet because it wasn't until I realized that there was an opportunity uh, to be had online that things started to change. I got onto eBay, and I've spoken about this before in videos, but I found a way to buy and sell on eBay, and that was going quite well. And then I was wholesaling, so I was buying in products, you know, in batches of, you know, a few hundred at a time and reselling them on eBay, and that went really well. Um, and then that just kind of evolved from there. I, I've, I, I purchased an online course to teach me how to grow my eBay business. And it turned out that that product had an affiliate commission attached to it or an affiliate program. 
And I thought, well, this sounds pretty good. The guy's saying I can get 70% commission if I tell anyone else about his eBay course. I thought, well, those profit margins are way stronger than I'm getting selling my little toys or USB pens and whatnot on, on eBay. So I dove into the world of affiliate marketing and, and very quickly started to build that income stream up selling digital products online and getting a, a pretty sizable affiliate commission and started making $10,000, $20,000 a month doing that. And then, and then everything started to evolve uh, from there. I started to teach what I was doing with affiliate marketing. I was making, like I say, 10 or 20 grand a month. I thought maybe there's some people that wanna learn how I've done this. And so I started to teach that in training courses. And, and then I found my love for marketing. And, and that's actually now how our, our marketing education uh, company and our consultancy has, has grown on that foundation of finding a love for marketing. So the first and main thing is just the internet, the opportunity that the internet has provided. I tried so many other businesses that, that failed. Now, granted, I was quite young and that probably had a, a part to play in it, but while I was still that age, I was able to make some considerable money on the internet. So it feels like the internet's opened up an opportunity that just wasn't around you know, in previous generations. You know. So the first thing was the internet. Now, the second thing is getting a little bit more specific you know, into that was as YouTube. Right, this platform that you're most likely watching me on right now, this has actually been a part of my journey from the very beginning. I've utilized and used and leveraged YouTube in different ways uh, for different things, um, but it's been a part of my journey all the way along because at the very beginning when I was doing my affiliate marketing stuff, the way that I was making my affiliate commissions is that I found a way to get videos ranked on the first page of the results on, on a YouTube search term. So if someone was typing in, how do I lose weight? Then my video would pop up saying, hey, if you're looking to lose weight, there's a great product over here you may wanna go ahead and check out. And then they'll click on that and some of them will purchase and I'll get a, an affiliate commission. So it became this fun little game of how many videos can I get to position at the top of YouTube? And, and that's what was you know, making me a pretty, pretty sizable income. Um, all the way through to now, as I'm recording this for you, we are in uh, the, the tail end of 2020. We're just about to go into 2021. Um, and YouTube is still the lion's share of, of how we grow this organization right now. We run YouTube ads. So we've kind of completely switched gears, although we still like producing content for our YouTube channel like you're watching right now. But one of the biggest drivers of our company growth is running YouTube ads to attract the right type of customer and client that we believe we can help to uh, package up their idea that they've got in their head or package up their knowledge into something that they can sell and now how do they find the right people to sell it to? Well, we're trying to attract those, those clients and we do that with these, with these YouTube ads. So YouTube has been on our journey, not only uh, to my first million earned, but actually to our journey uh, towards close to eight figures now. So the third thing is mentorship. Um, this is something that I have seeked after uh, since the very beginning, you know, uh, whether that is, because it's all relative, it's what you can afford, right? Um, when I'm starting my businesses at 16, 17 years old, I haven't got thousands and thousands to spend on an expensive mentor, but I was still buying courses, trying to get something of, of, of coaching. Um, I was going to seminars as soon as I could afford that. Um, I was signing up for the coaching packages that are offered at these seminars when I could afford that. And, um, and then all the way up to, you know, I remember kind of on my journey up to a million dollars signing up with, uh, you know, some coaching from someone who was very well known in the space for a considerable fee. You know, we're talking about 25 grand for some coaching. Um, but that really did help prop uh, propel me in the direction that I wanted to go and, um, and get us on that path to, to seven figures and knowing how to do that, you know. Something that has been very prominent, not just uh, the journey up to, up to the first million, but, but where we are right now is finding people that have done what I'm looking to do and pay them what they want for me to learn how to do it. Um, I do that very often and I think that's a big part of how we've continued to grow, right? I'm sure we could figure it out by ourselves, but if that figuring out would take me two years, I'd rather save that two years and condense it into a month or two because ultimately saving that two years of trying to figure it out, saving that, knowing what to do, and now walking that path is worth far more to me in the long run than the fee for, for coaching. So mentorship's been a big thing. It's actually why we enjoy uh, coaching and training too. It's why I'm passionate about it because I know the people that get the best results are those that actually have a chance to work with us closely, sometimes come into our office, spend some time with us and the team. Um, you know, that level of, of proximity to someone 
someone that is already where you want to be um, is what makes the difference. So it's helped me and now it's also stirred our passion for our consultancy to be able to offer that same thing to other people too. And the fourth and final thing is just continuing to study and learn where trends are going. You know, what you'll find and what I've certainly found and again, the topic of this video is obviously the journey you know, to seven figures, but this, this is the exact same thing from seven to eight figures, is things are gonna move very, very fast, right? The way that we package up offers and position offers, the way that we build sales funnels and the type of sales funnels we use and um, traffic sources, right? Paid ads might get too expensive at some point, but there'll be something else that comes up, you know, the different social media platforms that we use, the different strategies that we use. Um, look, things are continuing to evolve and they're constantly evolving and um, I'm pretty sure that means the exact same thing. Um, <laughs> and you have to stay um, ideally ahead of the trends, but at least with the trends, you don't want to get left behind, right? You know, I've seen this from competitors of mine in the industry that at one point were doing really, really well, and then you don't really hear from them again. And they seem to have kind of fallen off the face of the planet. Now, uh, I, I can't tell you uh, whether or not this is the absolute case for them, but I would argue that there is a case that, they, that they've just kind of got left behind, right? They got stuck in their old traditional ways of running their business and perhaps didn't follow where social media is going. Perhaps heavily relied on one platform and one platform only and when that changes, you are in trouble, right? It's why we teach our clients to eventually diversify into multiple traffic sources so that you're not relying on one platform. If you are heavily reliant on Facebook to you know, grow your business, well, if Facebook shuts you down or if the algorithms change or if prices get too expensive, you know, anything like that, you're out of business. So it's things like this. The fourth point is I'm constantly learning. I don't stop learning. I wanna make sure I'm ahead of the curve. We wanna test and try different things and experiment. Um, and that's really helped uh, in the early days and also now as well. So anyway, those are the four things that I believe have contributed to uh, me being able to generate my first million dollars online before the age of 21. Um, and has also helped us scale now to the, to the kind of level that we are playing at, you know, right now. If this has been helpful for you, do me a favor, hit the like button on this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know which of the four things you resonate the most with. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Or turn on the bell notification. We put out a couple new videos like this every single week. And finally, if you're interested in working with me and my team to help you grow your business, if you have a knowledge-based business, if you sell a course, a coaching, a training, or anything like that that you want to position online and scale to six and seven figures, we have the processes and we'd love to have a conversation to see if working with us is a good fit. There's a link in the description box and a top comment but with a bit more information about how that would work and the ability to speak to someone on my team. All right, so with that, hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in a future video.